Hi, today we're going to take the five minute challenge to load Oracle eBusiness Suite data into Salesforce.com using Informatica Cloud. We'll start off in Salesforce and take a look at what accounts we have loaded and we have none. Let's navigate to our, Salesforce, uh, our Oracle eBiz Suite and take a look at what customers we want to send over. And here are the customers that I've updated today or added today and we want to get these new customers or updated customers into Salesforce. So we navigate back to Salesforce and we can get to Informatica Cloud through a Managed App tab in Salesforce. So I'm signed in and we can see the history of what I've run, but what we want to do is load that data into Salesforce. So we'll select our Data Services tab. Now here you can see all of my tasks, but I really want to hone in on my Oracle eBusiness tasks, so I'll pick that view. And here we can see the tasks that I want to work with. We'll create a new one. We'll name this Oracle eBiz Customer Load. We'll select the operation we'd like. And next we'll select where that data lives with our source selection. And we'll pick a, select, uh, a source object called Oracle eBiz. Right, now let's go select our metadata. Now the connection merely points to where that data lives. And right now we're reaching across the internet to grab our Oracle eBusiness Suite metadata. And we'll give that a second to bring it back. Today we'll be working with the HZ Parties table because we know that's where our customer reference information lives. And we're almost ready. So we'll take our HZ Parties. Now it's retrieving the column name and metadata information. And we can do a preview so we can take a look at that data before we start. And later we'll be filtering on, filtering on party type equals organization. But now we want to pick where we want to send that data to. And in this case we're going to go to Salesforce. And we'll select the object. Pick our account. And again we can preview the data here if we'd like. But let's go add our filter condition. And this is going to be our party type field. And we said organization. And what I want to do, though, I want to look for the changes. So I'm going to add another filter condition. So we'll click on it. We'll go to our advanced. And we'll add an and condition. And then we'll paste in what I want. That's going to look for the changes since yesterday. And now we'll move on to the mapping step. So here's where the rubber meets the road, where as a user, I just drag and drop. So let's go find our key information. And that's the party type information. So we'll take our party ID and put that on our external ID and then our, onto our account number, and then we'll take our party name and put it onto our name field. Next, let's bring our address line information over. So we'll slide back up, and I'm presented with a little bit of a dilemma. I have four address lines, but only one billing street. So watch how easy Informatica Cloud makes that. I can drag and drop on top of each other, and it applies a concat function, meaning that it will put those together, concatenate them together. That's one of 150 functions that I can use to transform my data. And let's go find our city information. Let's go find our country information. And let's slide down. We'll find our postal. There's our postal code. And then let's go find our state. And we'll drop our state on. And let's bring one more over. We'll bring over our mission statement. And we'll put that on our description field. Now I can save it, or I can move on and schedule it to make it repeatable. So I can pick a schedule that you've, you've built for me, or I can build a new one. You have the option to also select who will get notified upon certain conditions, error, success, or warning. You can do pre-commands and post-commands, so commands that have, operate before the task runs, and commands that operate after the task runs. And then in this case, special Salesforce options. We'll pick a success file. So let's save it, and let's kick that off. So now it takes it back to our activity monitor where we can see things happening in real time. And what I'm going to do now is select, uh, change the view to a detailed view. And what we'll see, row count will pop up as data is being processed. So if we have thousands and thousands of rows, you'll actually see a live row count as the process is happening. So we'll give that a couple of seconds. We don't know how many records are actually new or changed today. 
Uh, so we'll give that a few seconds to run. Okay, there we go. Our, our load is done already. Let's go take a look in Salesforce. And we'll look at our accounts. And let's click into one of them. And right away I notice I have a problem. This, this account number should not have gone over with it as a double precision. But watch how easy we can go fix that. So we're going to go to Informatica Cloud. We're going to click right through our task and edit right into our mapping. And we'll find our party ID field on the account number. And let's click into it and pick one of our functions. And I want to actually, I'll type it in for now, but I'll show you in a second, to, to integer. And what that's going to do is truncate those, leading, uh, those trailing zeros. So we'll validate. And that will be in one of our folders down below. We can take a quick look for all functions. And we'll find our two character date integer available to us. So we'll say OK. Let's save it again. And let's run it. Again, we'll let it chug through and pick out any changed records. Uh, note that there's help available all the time. So you have the help manual. You have our support page. And let's just click real quickly. And you'll see within here, you have the ability to submit a support request to Informatica, our cloud community, the online help, and a YouTube channel all at your fingertips. And let's navigate back and see if our task is finished. And that's done already. Let's go to Salesforce. And all I'll do here is hit F5 to refresh the page. And voila, we've fixed it in seconds. I'd like to thank you for taking the five-minute challenge with me today. And hopefully you'll come back and see us do this again.